Reinhardt, the classic Overwatch tank. From his shiny armor to his bulky shield, and of course that huge hammer, he is the embodiment of a classic video game tank as we know it today. But this crusader has been on one long journey, and boy has he evolved. To understand how he got to where he is today, we need to go all the way back to when it first began. On the 24th of May 2016, Overwatch burst out onto the FPS scene. People were excited to see where this new team-based shooter, often compared to the popular Team Fortress 2, would go. With its awesome cast of 21 heroes at the time, each had their own unique and exciting abilities, the hype for Blizzard's first shooter game was mad. But already then, one hero stood out, he didn't even have a gun. Reinhardt, meaning Brave Counsel Wilhelm, was a crusader, a highly decorated German soldier with a massive suit of armor and unique capabilities. Following a battle at the castle of Eichenwald, leader of the Crusaders and Reinhardt's dear friend, Baldrich von Adler, was slain at the hands of the Omnix, following an epic and valiant final stand in the castle. He was originally called to join the ranks of Overwatch, passed on his honor to his brave lieutenant. And so, Reinhardt answered the call, entering the organization of Overwatch and, thereby, becoming a big part of the game we know and love today. Although he may not have been met immediately with the presence of Double Winston Die before Hero Lock, he did quickly rise to the top of the charts as soon as Hero Lock was implemented on the 19th of July, then staying as the primary main tank for the next 7 months. When he fell off the top spot, it was due more so to a Winston and General Dive buff, rather than a right nerf. In fact, he must have been seen as a relatively balanced hero at the time, in at least some respect, he didn't receive a single balance change until almost a year into the game's existence. Or maybe people simply loved him so much that they didn't want him nerfed. Obviously his big shiny armor and hammer is a part of every 10 year old stream, as the character was always bound to be popular solely based off of the design concept. But this legendary crusader was made all the more lovable by his over top personality and his stellar voice acting. So let me introduce you to Darren DePaul, the epic voice actor of Reinhardt. Similar to the big brute, DePaul has a friendly but over the top personality, making him easily stand out even in one of the star studded cast. And the passion he puts into his work is marvelous. This is Reinhardt, and Reinhardt, and Reinhardt, and Reinhardt, and we are delivering the payload. Back up, my friends, or we will run you down! <laughs> that feeling of love and respect which people showed this hero was increased even further on November 3rd of 2017, with the release of the Honor and Glory cinematic. Here we are shown that fateful day in which the Overwatch Honor was passed onto him, and the sheer emotion of this cinematic evokes is crazy at the top of many people's rankings, even above the highly rated Dragons one. With over 23 million views, the impact that this had on people's feelings really cannot be understated, and it brought us even closer to Reinhardt and his story. However, our feelings can only go so far, and they definitely weren't enough to keep Reinhardt in the meta as he fell out of favour for the next couple of years following an earth shatter nerf despite a swing speed increase to his hammer. As the Overwatch League began its first season in 2018, he barely saw any play until Grab Dragon towards the back end of the season, with Winston generally being seen as the main main tank. But this all changed in 2019, or really in mid-2018, as the introduction of Brick largely smothered the popular dark meta. Grab Dragon was popular for a time, as I just mentioned, with Ryan as the primary tank, but then this changed to full-blown goats by the end of 2018, moving into the beginning of 2019. Brick dominated the meta, when running a triple tank, Ryan was often considered a must pick as a part of his composition. Now, allow me to introduce another character to this tale, the one who brought Ryan to the very top of competitive play and was considered by many as the best Ryan player ever. Matthew Super Delisi, now known as Super TF, joined the San Francisco Shock in late 2017, beginning his play for the team in March of 2018. The GOAT meta was perfect for him, and in 2019 he had the fewest depths of any player at several points during the season. In 2019 alone, he won the Stage 2 playoffs, the Overall League and the Overwatch World Cup. Obviously there have been many other elite Reinhardt players, but Super Skill, commander with his bigger than life personality, really is a significant part of Reinhardt's history at this point. Well, after 2019, Reinhardt's popularity of the highest levels of play began to decline, now making way for Double Shield. In the next few years, Reinhardt never had a year when he was consistently dominant throughout, yet, impressively, he never fell out of play completely. Unlike other very meta-dependent tanks like Ball, Winston, or Hawk, Ryan continued to see play in the Overwatch League. Well, on November 1st of 2019, the Zero Hour cinematic was released. Here, 
Brian and Brigitte are depicted rolling in and saving Winston, Tracer and Mei from some Onyx, alongside Genji and Mercy and Echo. This wasn't a particularly significant moment in the history of the character, but I thought it would be a good point to include, and showed again how Ryan will always answer the call. He will always stand up to the fight, even though at times he has no good reason to. He is a valiant soldier, just like how he was shown at the end of the Honor and Glory cinematic, whom going to answer Winston's call, called. and just like his dear friend Baldur. I must answer. Always. Enter Overwatch 2. For the second game in the franchise, and yes, I know many who don't think it even deserves that title, but with the second game in the franchise, Ron received a whole host of buffs to account for him now being the only tank. From two fire strikes to more control over his charge, and simply more health, these changes were quite impactful indeed. Whilst he may not necessarily have been the meta at all times so far, he's been a strong pick during nearly the entire game. But even when he hasn't been the top dog, one man kept his legacy running through and through. Hardy. Main tank player for the London Spitfire, Hardy is an absolute beast at run, playing it even when no one else did and still finding huge success despite his teammates being mediocre at best. Even when the hero was all but forgotten, this man came rolling in and still dominated with our favourite hammer swing crusader. Well, Ryan's still kicking about today, and following a health reduction he may not be at the very top of this moment, but I doubt he will ever fall out of play completely. From his general design to his charisma, to the incredible players who have kept him alive at the highest level, this crusader will never be forgotten, because true heroes never die. Live with honour friends.